guys, it's Maddie. Thank you so much for coming back to check out my YouTube channel. Today, we're going Halloween decor hunting. If you are not a Halloween person, this is not for you. If you like anything Halloween or spooky, this is definitely for you. I'm a huge Halloween fan and yes, it's July and I'm already looking for Halloween decorations. I was actually looking at the beginning of this month. I want to do a lot more Halloween and spooky content here because it really feels like me as well as on my Instagram, which is at Maddie Hearts. So today we're going to go look around at a bunch of different stores that have been seen having Halloween decorations already out. I'm going to show you what I find. I've also been doing some Instagram reels about spooky and Halloween decor and stuff like that. So check that out on my Instagram. This is definitely inspired by Jade Libra. I love her. If you don't know who she is and you like Halloween and spooky content, you'll love her. I'll link her in the description down below. She's the queen of Halloween and Halloween decor hunting, so definitely go check her out. She also has a Halloween Forever Facebook page where all these different people who love Halloween are chatting and showing their finds and saying, you know, what they're finding already at different stores, so that's an awesome resource. And she made a fantastic video basically listing out all the different stores over the past few years about when they put their decor out so we can know when to look for stuff, which is so helpful. Unfortunately, I don't have a Mr. Skeleton like she does in the passenger seat. Maybe I'll get one, but let's go look around, see what we can find. This year, the resellers have been awful by buying everything and then price gouging it on the internet so if you see something you really like you should probably pick it up we're gonna see what we can find i know i want to run by walmart because i actually saw somebody said they started putting out their halloween pillows including the ones from last year the little ghost and pumpkin ones with the pom-poms i really wanted those so we're gonna check there maybe kirkland's i think they just have fall stuff not necessarily halloween at home of course is one of the first places to put out halloween stuff Old Time Pottery, Cracker Barrel, maybe a little bit at Michael's, Bath and Body Works, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, that group of things, and I think a few others I'm already forgetting. Oh, Joann's. So I think this is going to be like a week long thing where I go to different stores because it's already almost two o'clock here. So I'll show you what I can find. I am in the Orlando, Florida area for reference. Definitely check your stores and let me know what you're finding. Also, this is going to be a long video, so I hope you enjoy. Let's drive. So first, I think I'm gonna run by Walmart, just run in, see if they have anything, and then I think we'll head over to um, Home Goods and maybe Kirkland since it's over there. I'm really wanting to do more spooky content in general. I'm not talking like FX makeup tutorials and stuff like that because there's a million of those out there and fantastic ones. I just wanna make spooky content that I really enjoy making and that I would enjoy watching and I hope you guys enjoy watching. Um, so definitely like decor videos, um, Halloween hunting videos, Halloween hauls, stuff like that I feel like is gonna be more my vibe. I'll probably do some kind of costumey things a little closer to Halloween. Um, definitely on Instagram and stuff, it's kind of, we'll be back and forth. So I hope you're following me there, but let me know. Do you love spooky season? Is it your absolute favorite? Because it's my absolute favorite. I like Christmas time. I like like nostalgic Christmas, but uh, I like Halloween more. Like I really want us to have a specific part of the house be Halloween all year round. Maybe like the whole house. I've been following all these fantastic spooky creators on Instagram and the spooky community on Instagram is phenomenal and they have these like fully spooky houses and they are so cool so we might end up doing that uh <laughs> we'll see okay i completely forgot that there's a dollar tree over here we're probably gonna stop at multiple dollar trees but when i was visiting texas last week i went to a dollar tree and they had some spooky stuff so let's see if we can find it here all right we found some fall floral here i like these little dangly pumpkin picks and some of these different colored little glittery Halloween sticks. I already have a mark from my mask. So the only thing at that Dollar Tree was just a few fall slash kind of Halloween sparkly floral picks. That was it. Back in Texas, the one I went to had a bunch of mini pumpkins. They had like, I think it was maybe some trick or treat filler item kind of things. And um, like this big witch hat wreath frame. So i um, hoping I find a Dollar Tree like that somewhere here because I want mini pumpkins. I have like 50, but I need more, obviously. Let's go to Walmart.
Okay, nothing at Walmart yet, just back to school stuff. I even looked through the pillows, I didn't see anything. I'm really surprised that someone did find the pillows at their Walmart this early. I don't know if it's just a fluke thing, but we'll definitely be checking back soon. Nothing but some fall floral at that Dollar Tree as well. And a woman judged me for filming it. So I hope you enjoy this because she made a comment. <laughs> now let's go to Ross. Nothing at Ross either. I even looked in the blanket section because they usually have spooky blankets and they don't have anything yet either. But side note, they have a bunch of high-end makeup there now like TJ Maxx usually does but they're all in plastic cases, so no one can tamper with it. So if you're into that, go check it out. Now let's go to Home Goods. I lied, let's go to Kirkland's next. All right, Kirkland's had a bunch of fall stuff, but this is the most that we've seen so far, but nothing specifically Halloween. Lots of little pumpkin and autumn signs, pillows, lots of wreaths and floral things. They had a lot of cute doormats as well, and I think these are 12 or $15, so pretty affordable. I like this one with the truck and the pumpkins. And then they also had these pumpkins with initials. So you can get your first or last name. Then little mini wooden pumpkins, lots of different fall candles. These are like little pumpkin potpourri things, I think. And more candles. Found a little lone Hello Pumpkin pillow. And this was $35, a little pricey if you ask me. Then they had these little Sherpa pumpkins. These were super soft. I think these are actually really cute. They were $9. I would definitely go back and get some of these, especially on sale. Okay, so Kirkland's did have some stuff. They had a few um, fall items, some like cute, the pumpkins with the initials, some really cute doormats, some different little decorative pumpkins, a few signs. They had a bunch of fall candles. They also had a few wreaths that had pumpkins in them that were cute, but the employee was standing right next to them so I couldn't film them but they definitely have started to get some stuff in. Nothing specifically Halloween, but definitely fall and pumpkin related there. So yay, we at least found some stuff. All right, I found some more of these little pumpkin picks, floral picks for $8. And our first sight of actual Halloween, this was so exciting. This cute little witch pillow with the cats and the bats, this was $20. Then we have a happy Halloween pillow with the gnomes. A lot of gnomes this year. I don't know what the deal is. I thought this was super cute. The skeletons with the tutus and some different pumpkin pillows as well. And this long happy Halloween pillow. I think that was Ray Dunn. Um, this kind of spooky magic blanket, not specifically Halloween, but still kind of spooky. $17 for that one. This is a pinkish striped pillow boo with the ghost. Some more other fall pumpkin pillows. I like the leaves one too. And they had this fun like orange and black detailed. Oh, and then there's the, the truck with the pumpkins and this orange and black detailed one I like. There's a bunch of other pumpkins, a lone jack-o'-lantern that's like a felt pumpkin up on the top shelf. A lot of these glass pumpkins, very pretty, just not what I'm looking for. There's also a Happy Thanksgiving sign already. We did find some different fall pumpkin hand towels, some sugar skulls, these kind of patchwork looking pumpkins, a skeleton guy. These are the kitchen hand towels. I did like these a lot. I almost got one of these. They have little jack-o'-lanterns, acorns, cats. They're just very simple. It's just the print is a different texture and obviously a different color too, but it's very simple and I liked those. Then we had some fall pumpkin table runners. They had some of these kind of plasticky tablecloths that were Halloween themed. And these, like, I don't know, what is this, like, 
wickery that's not wicker i don't know some other pumpkin placemats and this was beautiful this is a fully beaded skeleton table runner it was so pretty this is another placemat or those are wooden placemats actually it's like sets of two these are wooden hard placemats they have like a little witchy scene you could totally use these as signs or like little tabletop you know trays almost and they have little cute doggies as well and then a few Peanuts brand character blankets. They had the twin size for 17. And I think the other size was queen for maybe 20. Yeah, full slash queen. So a few different designs of those. These were super cute. I'll probably go back and get one of these because I need more spooky blankets, obviously. Then we had more. They have a lot of this like needle felted felt made decor. We had a spider. We have a metal trick or treat ghost. But all these little banners I've been finding in different shapes and characters are all like made of felt. Some of these like metal fake paper bag things and this little felt pumpkin and his little felt ghosty friends. And then this cool metal skeleton holding a bowl just all by his lonesome. Okay, yay, we actually found some Halloween items at home goods not as much as i've seen other people find there were definitely a bunch of like pumpkins like the glass pumpkins i found a few placemat table runner tablecloth things um just a few decorative items some of those like needle felted pumpkin and ghost banners and a few halloween pillows a few halloween peanuts brand characters fuzzy blankets so not too much right now at this location at least so obviously we're gonna be checking back basically until after halloween to see what we can find what shows up what we can get on sale later on but now i think i'm gonna go to at home they were one of the first places to put halloween stuff out i got some halloween stuff there like a month ago so we're gonna see what they have now and i think big lots because it's over there so let's go check it out Okay, you're about to see the mother load. I did find this one cute fortune teller Halloween candle when I first walked in and some little pumpkin shaped candles, this cute little hedgehog guy, but oh my gosh, look how much Halloween. Oh, I love you at home. So we have some of those candles that like bleed red when you burn them. These are velvet feeling pumpkins and skulls, lots of classic like black and orange pumpkins and the little bottle brush trees and some basic candles this little plushy witch friend up here the halloween heroes collection i think there's five collections so halloween heroes is like their classic collection bunch of different lights for indoor and out you know different decorative decorations to shine on your house the little trees and the ornaments this super tall spider guy he's kind of cool honestly my favorite color is October. Um, I found out there is another sign that looks like that that says trick, so they go together. In this little house, it does light up. Little guys inside. I also love the little ghost next to it. This big welcome sign with the jack-o'-lantern. We have the classic little trees everybody loves with those little lights. Some like craft pumpkins in different colors. These bottles are so cute. I'm not a kid, but I definitely got one. There's a few different designs. So there's a skull, there's a cat, there is um, a ghost, and I think Frankenstein's monster. These are super cute and they're only $2. Did I say they're glass? They're glass. So big fan of those. I think those are really precious. And then lots and lots of inflatables. We have Nightmare Before Christmas. There's even a turkey in there. This cat was giant. Little like skeleton dragon, pumpkins, spooky dog, gnome, like a spider pumpkin, uh, ghosts and pumpkins and spooky dogs and a big jack-o'-lantern and a big ghost and this bunch of stuff I'll show you in a minute. These little fake uh, tombstones that are like styrofoam you can put in your front yard you get six for 20 bucks which seems like a decent deal to me I thought this was really cool I didn't see this displayed but it was like this drippy purple light tree of course the classic like cobwebs and creepy cloth which I love creepy cloth a severed head you know just casual things and a big spider down there I had to get a cart here 
couldn't resist. Here are all the inflatables set up. They were just a little past the Halloween decorations. So you can go and look and see the size of everything and how it looks and if you wanna get it. I have never been an inflatable person, but I actually found one that I like and I might go back and get it. It's that little double punk pumpkin back there for 15 bucks. I think it's kind of cute. Are they tacky? Are they cute? Let me know. Should I get an inflatable this year? Because I finally have a yard. It's very exciting. Okay, back to the decor. We have these little skeleton kind of chip and dip bowls and this could be used to hold like cooking utensils or just a cup. You know, lots of different skulls. I like this little candle holder. We had some kind of decent sized skeletons here in gold and silver. This is the Dark Decadence collection, which I really liked a lot of the stuff from. We have these different busts. That's actually a different collection, the little hoedown guys. Different skulls. This is like a geo skull. Super cool. Fuzzy spider with lights. We have a couple of little spooky trees. Well, not little. That's a big guy. These different almost mercury glass looking skulls and pumpkins light up. We have this like little mini street light, the roses on the black pumpkin. I thought that was really pretty. This is another candle. I snagged that black candle. A couple of more bleeding candles. Those are super cool. A gold skull with flowers. This little candle holder. And they do have the bleeding taper candles, which just means it's red on the inside. More signs and creepy cloth. They did have a few welcome mats as well as kitchen mats. So like the welcome mats are like the bristly ones for outside and the kitchen mats are just squishy. So they had a few different fall and Halloween ones. I don't know. Hopefully they'll be getting some more because there weren't too many. Some nightmare before Christmas, guys. I might get zero because it's so cute. I won't have zero floating in my house. This was $20, which is the same price I've seen at other places. So I think this is pretty standard. We had a little fall light here, some pine cones. Those smelled so good. I love the scented pine cones. This little ghost guy is super cute, but Dollar Tree had one just like it the other year. I love this mini ghost. It was only $4. And then there's a giant version of him. He was super long. So I did get me one of the mini ghosts. You will see him again next week. Here is more of the Dark Decadence collection. You have this like skull covered candle. This gives me motorcycle vibes. I can't explain it, but they're cool. Also have these big metal pumpkins. They do light up. Uh, the lights are a little weak if you ask me, but maybe it looks better at night. Very Game of Thrones skeleton guy. Uh, skull taper candles, which is interesting. We have these uh, little wooden, this is a spellbound collection, very witchy, very into it as well. These are like wooden fake potion bottles, a little confused on those. We have some crow candles, little cats, some of these ornaments. Those are pretty colors. Honestly, those are like mermaid colors, but whatever. A toad, some more pumpkins, this big giant cauldron. You could put candy in there or dry ice. Then there's a whole bunch of pumpkins and just regular fall stuff as well. Lots of these little like decorative, pretty, almost blown glass looking pumpkins. There's like a glittery pumpkin tray down here. Okay, back to Halloween. We have these snake candles, which honestly, these are super cool. Total little Slytherin vibes. We also have this snake wreath. It's all black and glittery. I thought this was pretty cool as well. I think it was $30. This, is that fall or Halloween? I have no idea. Maybe it's both. They have a little matching pumpkin. Here's a pumpkin light up display for like outside and a big spider that lights up. This cool little like spell book with the skeleton hands. It's like a hard ceramic thing. The spooky pumpkin. This was cool. It had all these different black bugs on it. They were all different bugs. It was kind of interesting and I like that it was kind of misshapen. $25 for that guy. Then we have the Halloween Hoedown collection, which is very country. Honestly, just not my vibe. Um, but if you like it, that is fantastic. I hope you do. We have these little, these are cute. These are like little tea light holders. These were $4. Those are super simple and cute. I did kind of like this patchwork pumpkin. This gives me like boho witch vibes. We have a little like camper, 
little truck, some little uh, farmer skeletons. This was cool. These little crows on this brown wreath. This wooden pumpkin, happy Halloween sign, some more bigger metal and like faux denim pumpkins. And look what I found. I found the jack-o'-lantern mug. I was so excited. I had to get this. It was only six bucks. And it was in the fall section for whatever reason, but I snagged that. And I really liked these pumpkin like jars they had in the fall section. This one was six dollars. It has a lid. And then the tall one was $15 and it actually has a seal so you could keep like pasta or candy or blood I don't know <laughs> I just thought this were actually pretty cute and like I said lots of different fall stuff for all different styles these little felt pumpkins on a string were pretty cute Lots of mini pumpkins, all different kinds, colors, styles. These itty bitty glass ones were super cute. Those were only $3. I like the misshapen pumpkins. I think those are really fun. Some big like welcome signs. And then the blue I thought was really pretty. This was like a sweatery material. I think the blue is a very interesting and like different fall color. I'm really into it. I also like, they have these little mini blue pumpkins. They're a little to my right. Yeah, see those like little blue pumpkins and that gather sign? I think that's super cute. I really like the gather sign. All right, more Halloween. We have a bunch of different size skulls, skulls in a bag, skulls in a different bag. This table centerpiece was really pretty for only $4. It's like a spider with spiders. I almost got it, but I don't know where I would put it. And they do have some of the animal skeletons as well, all different size skeletons. There's a bat one. Let's see, spider, a rat, this like itty bitty little skeleton I was thinking about hanging from my rear view mirror in my car, but I decided not to because I didn't think he was dangly enough. We also have the skull mug with the spider as well as the skull like cookie jar and this spider web platter. On the other side, it has like a face on that platter. Some more skeleton animals. I saw this about to be put out. It was on like a cart to be put out. So I snagged this spoon rest for $6. Love that. More of the swirly twirly pumpkins. These, uh, this was $8. This just seems like something my aunt would have. Anyways, um, we had one of the little cauldron mugs for $6. And also the big cauldron. This was like metal or ceramic. It was heavy. And this crystal ball, which did light up. And the skeleton with the, like, the little different colored eyes. And the, sc the skull with the snake. And there's another one of those little tea light holders that's like duochrome. And we had one fancy witch. And then this is fall, but it's a pumpkin. I think it's for like cream and sugar. I think that's pretty cute. Little like pumpkin table card holders. And then they had a bunch of room sprays and like wax melts and candles here as well in different colors and fall scents and potpourri. Oh, these little pumpkin like stemless wine glasses were pretty cute. You got two in there. And they had a whole bunch of fall floral in a separate aisle as well. All different kinds of wreaths and little tabletop decor and different little like fall picks and all that stuff. They had a lot of it. Also like the garland that you can like put across your mantle or whatever. Lots of it. I mean, I think you're honestly finding this most places nowadays. They've got a lot of fall stuff. We need more Halloween. See, lots of little tabletop stuff. I did find some fall blankets as well. Just a couple different ones for $15. I didn't see any Halloween ones and I forgot to really check the pillow. So I'll have to do that next time. But I definitely got some stuff from here. Okay, we were successful at, at home. I tried to show everything. I hope I filmed it well. I always go back and edit stuff and I'm like, slow down, Maddie. So hopefully I got everything without it being like a three hour long video of individually showing every item. They had a bunch of cool stuff. It looks like they have 
four different Halloween collections they're doing. There's definitely more stuff still coming in, but they had all the inflatables and stuff up, which is fun. And I got some stuff that I'll show you at the end of the video. Now let's head to Big Lots because I've heard that they have some things already as well. All right, we found some fall like disposable tableware, but then a, just a couple of Halloween paper plates and napkins, which is exciting. I haven't seen that yet. And we have these little scarecrows for outside. There's like a little cat and pumpkin guy. Here's a display of some things to be coming to Big Lots. They also had a bunch of these like creepy baby dolls. I don't know why Big Lots does so many creepy baby dolls. They always do, it's very strange. And then they had the skeleton with the animated eyes, kind of freaky, kind of like him. Again, more with the, the creepy babies. Sorry, not my vibe. They're having a seance here. I don't even know. This was cute. This was a little light up sign with different little, you know, like pumpkin patch and stuff on it. This I really liked. This is super cool. It lit up and made a bunch of sounds. I love this haunted house. This was $25. And then this guy is in his little um, coffin pirate ship. I don't know. Again, more fall, tabletop decor, signs, little pumpkins, stuff like that. More little pumpkins and little scarecrows. I thought this was cute down here, the stacked pumpkins with the green. more fall. I did like that jack-o'-lantern. He was like a sturdy ceramic jack-o'-lantern. I did like him. I think he was like $25. And why? Christmas? No, absolutely not. Okay, Michaels. Once again, lots of fall stuff. At this time, it was 30% off. They always have stuff on sale and always check the Michaels website. There is always a coupon. Never pay full price for anything at Michael's. These little pumpkins with initials were cute. And then the bigger pumpkins with initials. Lots of pillows. We have some of the garland coming in here. Some different little like planty guys and owls. Lots of fall floral flowers, picks, different things to make wreaths and decorations. And then they always have these collections that are like labeled as fall, but they're not fall at all. Like look how cute that is. And this mirror, oh, I love it. It's considered fall, so it was 30% off, but it doesn't look fall. Anyways, lots of space is cleared out to put fall or Halloween. So things are coming soon, hopefully, God willing. I guess it depends where you live. But just a little bit of Halloween back here. It was 30% off. This was all like wreath supplies. So lots of different picks with like little witch hats and sparkles and spiders and cobwebs and bats and stuff like that. These little glittery sticks we saw at Dollar Tree as well. Little sparkly things. All different little things if you like to make floral arrangements. This branchy wreath was pretty cool. I liked that. They had this like spider kind of garland, this sparkly garland, this little welcome uh, pumpkin to hold the wreath over the door. This skull has, have, has some very fancy flower hats. I also liked the little skeleton hand with the flower. That could definitely be made into something super cool just as a small decor piece. I think this is fall. Pumpkin on a stick, probably fall. Little bats, love the little bats in the tree. I love the black on black. We have some little candy corn guys here. You know, just different little Halloween picks. They have all different categories of them. Different designs and colors and such. These little jack-o'-lantern like branch tree guys. And then these different printed pumpkins. And you can always get these and pop the pumpkins off and use them for a little decor on like bookshelves and stuff. You don't have to keep them on the pick. I've done that before. Then we have some of these like loopy garlands you can put on your table. Um, the little jingle bell jack-o'-lanterns that hold a wreath. And uh, what do you know? Lots more fall-based floral. And a few welcome mats as well, only 13 bucks. Okay, so Michaels has the space cleared out and they had a bunch of fall stuff and they also have what they consider like 
fall decor collections that aren't really fall themed so there's definitely some cute stuff in there um all they really had was a few like floral picks and like a sparkly stick wreath there really wasn't much there so another place we're gonna have to check back on i saw their previews of their halloween collections on instagram and they look pretty cute so i am excited for that i'm getting tired and really hungry so last stop today is going to be at bath and body works Okay, so all the Halloween was on this one table. They did have some extra hand sanitizers and minis elsewhere, but everything they had was here. We have lots of the three wick candles and the pretty packaging, as well as the smaller candles, the pumpkin soap holder and the little bat soap holder. There's also a bath bomb there. We have this little trick or treat bag. We have a couple of the soaps and some of the wallflower scents, as well as the plugins like the sugar skull and the Dracula dog. Also, there's a room spray there some more of the smaller candles, more fall candles, of course. These are some of the pocket back hand sanitizer, little holders you can put them in. Yes, the cat makes noise and here's the sad little spider. And a couple of the hand sanitizers they had here. This is Ghoul Friend and the other one was Vampire Blood, which seems to be pretty popular this year. All right, so the hot item this year, I feel like already is this little witch's hand or Dracula hand, whatever it is, candle holder from Bath and Body Works. Everyone's been trying to get it. They're already like ridiculously price gouging this thing. So I went to Bath and Body Works, not expecting to find it. They didn't have it. I asked her, she said they had a couple this morning and they sold out, but she expects that they're going to get more. So keep checking back. I'm gonna keep checking back. I'm also gonna check the website because maybe I can grab it when it restocks on the website. I don't think they thought this was gonna be as big as a seller as it is. It is pretty cool, so I would like to find it. Do not purchase from resellers. There's people buying out like entire like sections of Halloween stuff and then something that was $10, they're selling for $100 or more online. It's ridiculous, don't give in, no matter how much you want it, do not give in because it'll only make them do it again. Do not give in to the resellers, it is not fair that they're doing this and I wish companies would do something about it. They had a bunch of the fall and Halloween candles and stuff and some of the body products and stuff. Personally, I'm an esthetician, I'm very picky about skincare and body care stuff. I do not like Bath & Body Works skincare and I don't even get their candles anymore because now I only get soy and beeswax candles because they're better to breathe in in your home personal preference but i saw what i saw i would like to find the witch hand it's very cute that's it for today let's try again at some other stores later on this week and don't forget to check the end of the video for the haul of the things i got today new day new car and i have a buddy today we are gonna go to Joanne Fabrics today and see what they have. Maybe some other stores if they're around there. I'm excited because I've already seen some things from Joanne's that I want. Also, don't forget to use your coupons. You have to download the app. I already did that. Let's go see what they have. All right, so first thing is some of these carvable pumpkins, craft pumpkins were outside the door and some fall pillows as well. And then I walked into a whole bunch of fall right when you walk in, lots of pillows. I think the fall is almost completely fully stocked. Lots of little pumpkins and potpourri. And then we found some Halloween in the wreaths section and like the floral section. So we have a few different wreaths here, like the little witch legs. I like these black ones a lot. Some of these did have lights already wired into them, which did make them a bit more expensive. Joanne's is a little expensive, so definitely download the app and use your coupon if you're buying from here. I also like this black one with the big leaves. I think that's pretty cool. Some sparkly, spooky garland. A few floral picks here, some, you know, just different Halloween floral picks and the larger floral picks with spiders and stuff. I like these black ones. I'm a big fan of the color black. Also some ribbon. Did find some ribbon there and some sugar skull floral pieces, garland or mini garlands, I guess. I thought these little stacked pumpkins were cute. We also have these giant glittery bows with different like characters in the middle. 
Not sure what you would use those for, but they have them. These little trees. And then I found these stacked pumpkins. Those are super cute. I'd love to put those outside. But again, so expensive. Of the sparkly pumpkins with the spider, the polka dot. This was like a fabric pumpkin, some other mini pumpkins, you know, lots of pumpkins. It's it's fall, y'all. It's what they're gonna do. We have a bunch of different hand towels. A bunch of these were super cute, but they're ten dollars a piece, which just seems a bit much. Those little um, black things on the left are like fringy things you can hang in your doorway, which is kind of cool. We had some kind of baked goods things, you know, like a cake stand that's a spider web and disposable plates and napkins for a party. And they have these large and uh, medium and small storage boxes and different Halloween prints and they're magnetic. So you can use these as decoration and then end up using them to store your Halloween stuff. This was a little table runner I found. And of course, it's Joann's. So they had a ton of fabric, like a ton of ton of fabric. So many cute prints. I want to buy some just to make something out of it. I, oh, I found so many fabrics that I absolutely loved. They're so much fun. It's just, just so many. I mean, see, there's even more. It's just fantastic. All different styles. And it was 25% off. All right. At Marshall's, I found some of these Ray Dunn pumpkins, some little ghost guys. I really like this silver metal pumpkin. I think he's cool. Some different little signs, little like plushy pumpkins. There's a little leopard. Oh, the cat with the jack-o'-lantern. I just noticed that. That's so cute. And then some like witchy magic themed mugs, I guess might be considered spooky. I think they're year round. Well, I think all Halloween's year round. These were super cute though. And I found them uh, in the mug section. Okay, now we're at Target. I think it's a little too early for their stuff. Maybe it'll start to trickle into the dollar section, but I did hear from an employee that the Halloween Squishmallows have started to show up and those always sell out super fast. Let's see if we can find any. Okay, a new day and a new Joanne store. We found more Halloween here. This time it was 30% off. Some of the same things, but new stuff for sure. We have these glittery brooms, uh, the witch's inn sign, which looks like you can display it multiple ways. A bunch of different ornaments, which was cool. Some more pumpkins and a bunch of different signs that were super cute. I really like the home sweet haunted home ones. I think those are fun. I've seen a bunch with that saying. And then I almost got this sign. I love the saying, but it was like $20, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. Anyways, lots more little decorations. Obviously, you could hang or tabletop. I also had some more tablecloths and table runners, little oven mitts and like party, you know, paper plate things, little plastic cauldron there and pet costumes. How cute are these? They have pet costumes there. Just, just so you know, obviously I just showed you. And they also had these spooky candles, which are very simple and minimalistic. And I honestly really like them, but they were $25. And then they had the plain candles as well. Little tea lights and votive candles, all the sizes. All these little tiny pumpkins, I just, I love it. It's so cute. What am I going to do with these? I don't know, but I want them. I also found some more floral picks and just different floral pieces that are definitely spooky themed and part of their Halloween collection. A few different wreaths I don't think I saw at the last store. Some of them I did, like the leaf one. We know we saw that. Some of these like longer spooky garlands. This one had spiders on it. I'm very sorry if you're scared of spiders. All right, another home goods. We had these gnome pillows with the hair. Honestly, the hair kind of freaks me out. This guy was cool. This like jukebox. Thought that was fun. We also have more of these like felt banners. A few different signs. I found this table runner. More little felt friends and gnomes. What is with all the gnomes this year? A big 
Game of Thrones guy. Some more of those metal skeletons. Some little wooden pumpkins. as like candy corn tree. Also some more like magic-y themed cozy blankets. We also found this uh, spooky blanket with cats. I think this one was only cats and bats. And then this one was dogs and cats and a little jack-o'-lantern. Very cute. This happy Halloween like tiered tray. This was more in the kitchen section. Some sugar skull canisters. This like candy dish bowl. It's all they really had over here. Oh, there's also a Nightmare Before Christmas mug, but I, they probably have that year round. And then we found a bunch of different placemats and cloth napkins and uh, table runners over here. These are little also like crystally napkin rings. Real fancy, if you ask me. If I came to your house and you had crystal napkin rings for Halloween, I'd be very impressed. More napkins and uh, crystal. Then we had like this haunted house placemat. And then these fully beaded placemats were really pretty. So there's a sugar skull and then the black and gold witch. I really liked these. Super pretty. Then we had a bunch more placemats. Or these aren't placemats. I lied. These are, what are they called? Tablecloths. So they had some cloth ones. Little pumpkins. Some are spooky. Some are fall. And then they also had some of the kind of plasticky rubbery ones. Which are good if you are a messy eater or if you have children. So you can clean it easier. But these were super cute, for sure. Then they had a bunch of different hand towels. These were in the kitchen towel section. They usually come with two. I think they're around like six to eight bucks, depending on the towel. There's some sugar skull ones. They also have these little pumpkin oven mitts, different fall towels. There's a little spooky house, dogs in costumes. That one came with a bunch of different ones, which was nice. How much was it? I think this is $10. And some jack-o'-lantern and cat ones. Old time pottery, y'all. They have so much stuff and they're still getting more in and it's all pretty affordable. Look at all these cute figurines. I really like the stacked one with the laughing faces and like the hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Like and so cute, so many and a bunch of them lit up. I was kind of rushed because two people were waiting on me to finish this to leave, but they had some like these like standing plushies that were different characters, this big giant skull, Lots of cute tabletop decor. The little ghost. Oh, I love him. He's fantastic. And he does light up. And he was $10. And I'll tell you right now, I bought him. And then these little metal trees and bottle brush trees. Lots of these little like tinsely things like the, the house and the ghost. The little mummy. This little guy. I think you can put candy in his head. Little crow and skulls and skeleton sitting on the jack-o'-lantern and these are all like under ten dollars for the most part like 10 and under very affordable if you ask me well that one to the left is 15 bathtub guy living his best life this little lantern lit up i should have showed you more of them lit up i apologize like i said i was a bit rushed we have some of these polka dotted pumpkins and these printed ones this happy halloween little one i I don't get the I'm here for the booze. I'm over it. What's up, witches? That was cute. Another happy Halloween. We had a bunch of different little garden signs and different prints. If you have a, a garden sign holder, this little metal jack-o'-lantern, like front door, not front door, front yard thing. These little things lit up with solar panels so you could put them outside. We have some tiny wooden stakes to put in your front yard. Some different banners here. These are super cute. I really like that first one. This one says Halloween. It's like a burlap material. Some more banners and signs and tinsely garland, creepy cloth, giant spider webs, giant eyeball ornaments, and a bunch of other giant spooky ornaments. These were super cool. These were like a nice heavy duty ceramic jack-o'-lantern, like heavy, like $25. I really like the one with the witch's hat. These little pumpkin pails, bunch of little like sugar skull people. We had these little like mini candy dishes, the jack-o'-lantern and the mummy. Some little skeleton couples riding away on their honeymoon, I guess. Um, and then this this one, that's that's a little spooky down there. We have these cool little haunted houses with the little ghost friends. Most of these lit up. 
that sign said you can't scare me i'm a mom this metal happy halloween was really nice we have like smaller figurines here like the houses and the tree they all lit up they're pretty cute i really like the snow globe with the books honestly looking at this i'm like i should have bought that oh well this little tiny cloche that already has the figurines in it super cute a halloween countdown some jack-o-lantern head friends a bunch of these different fake books, they all come together. So there's the purple and orange ones, and then you have the black and orange ones here. These potion bottles were super cool because they light up different colors, and it's super cool looking through the mercury glass. More spooky gnomes and some other different wooden signs. These are metal lanterns that have lights in them, obviously. And then this had little tea light holders behind it. Just says Halloween. We have a little mummy hand over there. Another little candy dish. This is a crystal ball. Yeah, it's pretty loud. These light up skeleton hands for your front yard, also pretty cool. And they also have a bunch of different lights and light bulbs and stuff for inside and out. Some different yard light up things, kind of the smaller yard light up things. There's tea lights. There's like little lights with gauze and little flickering lights. They also had a bunch of fall stuff as well. I didn't go over it, but they had quite a bit. We have some hanging bats and spiders here. And then some more of those styrofoam tombs and this big giant like skeleton grim reaper that would hang over your door. They also had a few spooky pillows that were pretty cute. And these were so affordable. They're only 15 bucks. Such a steal. Lots and lots of skeletons. We got skeleton heads. We got skeleton arms and lots of different skeletons. We have a mermaid skeleton with hair. Yeah, she, she kept her hair apparently after death. And these like grim reapery ones and all the different colors. So you can you can pick your shade. And some bigger ones with the long gauze. They had these spider webs with the different initials. They also had the same thing with the ghosts, the different initials, some little pumpkins with initials and some other wooden signs here. And they also had these reusable bags for only $2. Super cute. Save some plastic. for the haul portion of this video all the things i got this week it's actually only two stores at home in old time pottery which both have a lot of stuff for very reasonable prices so let me show you what i picked up okay so first thing i got was that small little gauze ghost you guys saw he is now my car buddy so here's a clip of him he was only four dollars he needs a name let's give him a name he's going to be in other hunting videos you'll see i got this skull candle let me give you a better shot so it's black with these beautiful green details which is totally the colors i want to add and kind of redo for our house i really want like a gothic spooky botanical vibes house i think it'll be really cool so this will totally be left out all year long and it is a bleeding candle i don't know if you can see but the inside of him is red. So if you light it, it'll burn and melt red, which is really cool. So I might do that closer to Halloween. And then, oh, you can see the red on the bottom. And then probably try to get another one because I just love this. And this was $10. I did get the Skeleton Hand Spoon Rest. It's already on our stove. This was $6. I also got the cute little milk glass sipper i guess it comes with the straw and the lid and this one has the little ghost which i just thought was so cute and this was only two dollars and the last thing from at home is the jack-o-lantern mug a lot of people have been wanting to find this i was so excited that i found a few and this was six dollars which is a pretty good deal for a mug if you ask me okay now what i got at old time pottery I'm new to old time pottery. I'm from Texas, so we don't have that here. It's kind of like at home a little bit if you've been to at home but not old time pottery. They have a ton of stuff like you saw for really good prices. So I'm excited to go back and see what more they get. 
So first of all, I did get one of the reusable bags. This one says trick or treat with the spider webs and the spider and the bats. I thought that was so cute. And this was only $2. So now I have a Halloween hunting reusable bag, save plastic, love this. I actually have a house now. So I have a yard to decorate, which is so exciting. So I got this guy and this was $10. And it also has a string if you wanted to hang it. I don't, I guess for storing it, you could hang it, but it's got a little lawn stake to put in your yard. And then you have these metal jack-o'-lanterns and stars and bats. And I just thought this was so cute. And Michael, my boyfriend, does not want to start decorating the front lawn yet. He doesn't want to be the weirdo in the neighborhood who already has Halloween stuff out. It's fine, we're gonna decorate the inside. So I thought I might put this in the backyard for now so I can enjoy it, but I thought this was cute for $10. I don't know, there was something kind of vintage-y about it to me, so I grabbed it. And everything else I got was like fragile, so I have to unwrap all this. It's like Christmas, but better because it's spooky. I did get one of the little spooky trees that I showed and it does light up and this guy was $8. Sorry, of course, my neighbor is mowing their lawn now but it is a spooky tree with some little bats coming off of it and the little jack-o'-lantern friends. And would you look at that? It lights up. I just thought this was so cute. I liked the size of it too. It's not too big, but it's also not the super minis. So I grabbed him. Then I don't think we have any mummy themed decor at all, I think. So I got this cute little mummy guy. He has like a little spider up here and a spider web. And it is a bowl to put candy or whatever in. And the other pumpkin guy was, it was weird because it was different because the bowl was more shallow. There was like a thicker lining in it. I don't know, very strange, but I thought he was super cute. And this was $6. Sorry if I keep looking at the screen and not the lens. Okay, Michael picked this out, but I really like it too. He loves like potion bottles and like things for our bar cart. So this was $8 and it does indeed light up. It is like a mercury glass bottle and then it has a label on it. Oh, this one's a little crooked. That drives me nuts. But it says uh, Witch's Brew Potion Single Batch Trademark Unwanted Pest Control Bottle by Salem Brewing Co. 100% Proven Deadly. So this is just a cute little bottle and, oh no, okay. It's supposed to light up different colors, just like the tree, but it is not lighting up. And I thought he would have tested this in the store. Oh, oh, there's just string lights shoved in here. Oh, okay, here's the pull tab. Good, I got a little nervous there. You can take the lights out if they die or you wanna change them like change the color or something like that. Because if you like the bottle, but you don't want the label out all year round, which like I do, um, you could put in different color lights and just turn it around. Ooh, that's so fun. They don't flicker or anything. They kind of look like they are on camera, but we've got like blue and green, red and yellow in here. So this is super fun. They had a few other ones. I wish they had different sizes, but they had different labels. These are super cool, I really like this. Okay, y'all, this last thing, when I was walking around to film everything first, I knew I had to have him. Isn't he so cute? He's just a happy little ghost. He's so happy to be here, I love him. Sorry, my dog's nails are so loud on the ground when he's walking around, but he was $10 and he does light up. But he just lights up like, the regular kind of yellow normal light, which I prefer. It looks way more yellow on camera. It's more of just like a warm light, but I prefer that over the like different colored lights, especially for him. But I just thought he was so cute. I love him. So real quick, talking about at home again. At home, if you sign up for their emails, you do get 10% off your first purchase. So definitely do that. I don't really know how many other coupons they really put out throughout the year. And I couldn't find like any coupons or coupon sign up for old time pottery. So let me know if you know about that. But of course, Michaels and Joann's always have coupons. Use your coupons, guys, save your money. The first time we went to at home, which was at the beginning of July, they had a bunch of potion bottles which are like nowhere to be found anymore. So we did get a bunch of those 
previously and I haven't shown you guys, I don't think, maybe on Instagram. I definitely did an Instagram Reels and a TikTok about it. But even though this is not from this week, let me show you the other spooky things I've already bought, which is just a few different potion bottles from at home. This is one of them. I love this skull. I love the green color. Like I said, I'm trying to do our house like dark, spooky, but botanical. So a lot of green. And I thought he was so cool. And this was only $3 and it's like glass. This is nice. So hopefully these come back to at home. Oh, you were playing a dangerous game, Maddie. Okay, other potion bottles from at home. We got the black one that says vampire drool and it does have a real cork in it. You can take these out. And this one was $7. I also have the square purple one. The black one isn't really see-through, but all the other ones are. And this one says unicorn horn. And this one was $7 as well. I just love this green color. This one says snake tongue. Very Slytherin vibes. This one was $5. Isn't that the prettiest green? I love it. And this little one that has a bat on top. It says scale of dragon and this was four dollars they also had like a purpley version of this one and they all say slaughterville oklahoma why oklahoma is slaughterville a real place it sounds bloody so those are the potion bottles we got previously literally before fourth of july and uh just had to add in the other spooky thing i already got this year at a thrift store i'm a huge thrifter i love thrift stores and vintage stores so i do want to do thrift shopping for halloween decor but it's going to be quite the hunt to try to find stuff like that but i did find this i think i got it at a goodwill for two dollars and it's just a little jack-o-lantern jar with a seal i don't want to break it but it does open i just thought he was cute i'll probably put candy corn in him or something honestly he could have like been a dollar at Dollar Tree beforehand, but I was so excited to find one Halloween thing at the thrift store. I had to get them and I think he's cute. That is all for this week's Halloween decor hunting vlog and haul. I hope you all enjoyed. I know this is a long video. If you made it all the way to the end, you're a champ. Please say spook yeah in the comments so I know you actually made it all the way to the end of this video. That's amazing. Thank you so, so much. I'm really excited to be part of like the Halloween community more on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube. And I hope you all want more of these videos because I'm already filming week two of my Halloween decor hunting vlog. I'm gonna try to upload them at the beginning of the week usually. So look forward to that. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any posts from me. Also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. It's at Maddie Hearts. I always post on my story when I post a new video so you can keep up with me. And if you have any kind of spooky Halloween content, leave your handle down below. I would love to see it. Again, thank you for watching. Make sure you give this video a like. It really helps us creators out and I'll see you guys next week.